it's like when you're driving one of these. As a pheasant, did you see that? Ooh. That's nature. <laughs> it's like driving the Starship Enterprise. You're surrounded by touch screens, little iPad apps that you can control the speed, you can control the size of the corn you're taking, you can control the elevation. It's linked into a satellite, so if you accidentally fall asleep, it'll keep driving. We try not to let them fall asleep. You don't know what you might be bringing in. <laughs> but it's, it's very, very technical, and it takes over six months to train a driver. Wow, should we have a closer look? Can we walk back and take yeah, a look? Yeah, thank goodness he's stopped, actually. Let's have a little walk down. Wow, so I can see these like pointy fingers that you, you mentioned. Yeah, the tickling fingers. Yeah, the tickling fingers. Here they are, look. Wow. Okay, so if you bring the camera in closer, we can have a little sh shoot the profile. Hi, sir, guy. Don't run me over. <laughs> yeah, we're friends, yeah? Okay. Um, these here effectively just very wow. gently pull, pluck the, the, the cobs off the sweet corn plant. And then they go through the roller at the back, okay, which lets all the small stuff go. And then it's hoovered up through the middle and it goes up a conveyor belt up behind where Sir Guy is sat now. And again, even more small stuff is pushed out the side. And then the, the, the composting, what we call the chaff blower, blows all of the, the stuff that's cut that isn't required out onto the field for, for compost. It's fascinating. Does it have a, a special name, John, or is it just the big machine that well, cuts these, these corn? Well, <laughs> these guys have got nicknames for them. Um, okay. We've got quite a few of them. We have some with, a, with the pirate's flag. Those people in Cornwall might appreciate the humour in this. One is the pirate, and he thinks he's the best driver. Sir Guy, <laughs> Sir Guy just keeps it really, really tight. He's also known as the meerkat. So he likes to just, you know, drive really <laughs> steady, make sure he gets a good yield, make sure he doesn't use too much fuel because these things can burn through a lot of fuel. So the key thing is driving it at a really steady rate so we're not wasting any resources and we can grow as efficiently as possible to keep the costs down because we want you guys to be eating as much sweet corn as possible. We don't want it to be too expensive. Fantastic. Are you not driving it on, on uh, maize, are you? Uh, too big for maize. It's an interesting fact. This, this head here, what we call the picking head, has been developed to tickle corn off. The maize cutting head is very different. It's just like a big lawnmower that just has its blade. And rather than mulch everything out, it mulches everything in. And then that gets taken back for cattle feed, okay? Or whatever people want to do with the maize. Great, so everything's used really. That's everything's great. used and it's all about quality, getting qu absolute quality sweet corn, corn on the cob to you guys. So that when you eat it in a restaurant or when you take it home and put it on your barbecue, get the best experience. Mm -hmm.